Now back to Olympic Park on Monday night. The first leg of the double was race two and the favourite Aidan at odds upon from the inside box number one as we join Ronnie Hawkswell. Ready? Racing, Aidan Boxwell on the inside, Tangens join Heather in with pace, caught out wide as Timber Court going up to second on the turn out of the straight, and Swanky Swing got up to be second now in third, Timber Court, Aidan two in front, Swanky Swing up running second, three lengths away then came Timber Court, Little Nola starting to make some ground, just in hope on the outside about three lengths away to King Belfast, Tangens join tied off Heather in near the turn, Aidan's about three or four lengths out in front of Swanky Swing and down the outside comes Little Nola, but it's Aidan all the way, by three lengths to Swanky Swing. Little Nola ran third. Well back was Timber Court, which weakened. Aidan successful in the first leg of the double. Now let's take a look at the last leg of the quadrilla, race six. Down and lead about three lengths to I'm Nugget and Autumn Leaf around the outside. Going to the back and hot spell about five lengths in front of I'm Nugget. Myocardium back on the inside. Then came Autumn Leaf. They were followed further back by Egyptian Zulu. Tim Barker over on the inside and last is high rolling. Hot spells about six lengths in front running off the back from Myocardium. I'm Nugget on the outside. And then come Autumn Leaf and Egyptian Zulu. But up the straight it's hot spell. And hot spell one by... By six lengths, second is Myocardium Egyptian Zulu. On the yes, a brilliant performance by Hot Spell in the last leg of the quaddy and the double at Olympic Park on one and three paid nine dollars and ten cents. At Sandown Park on Thursday night, the first leg favourite Sleek Ding from box five. Set their racing. Sleek Ding out in the setter began reasonably, going away quickly. Steel Chain. Steel Chain and Sleek Ding, they drive into the first corner clear. Sleek Ding copped a Pratt and dropped back to third on the inside and going out to the tail. New Bonanza Linden's last into the straight the first time and still chain the leader. Sleek Ding about two and a half off the lead. They were followed by Winolda Babe. Two and a half away to Sensation Chief. Five lengths further back as Becky's promise. Then came New Bonanza. Linden's last and Hot Fingers. Down the back they run. And the leader was still chained about two in front. Sleek Ding is struggling. They were followed by Winolda Babe on the outside and then came Sensation Chief. I'd say Sleek Ding's gone on the turn where Steel Chain is the leader. Winolda Babe is running on strongly. Steel Chain Winolda Babe on the outside. They hit it. Winolda Babe. Winolda Babe got up to beat Steel Chain. Third on the outside, Sensation Chief. Now let's take a look at the second leg from Sandown on Thursday night. Away smartly was Capio Primus driving for the lead, settling down from someone's talent and Potty's gutty in the centre, sweeping out wide the first turn as Glide to win. Running down the back straight though and Capio Primus three lengths in front. Someone's talent second, Potty's gutty third the outside. Chariot Crown on the fence and then came Bay Supreme. Spartan Chief followed by Bridport Silver, Glide to win. Off the back it's Capio Primus the leader coming after it, someone's talent. Capio Primus tackled by someone's talent who bought in. They're coming down to the post and flashing home Bay Supreme. Bay Supreme the outside, Capio Primus. Yeah, well, that was pretty rough in the final stages. Bay Supreme getting up in the last few bounds, 8 and 2, $28.10 at Geelong on Friday night. The first league favourite here, Thames Monarch from Box 1. Ready in the racing, Thames Monarch slow to begin on the inside. Regal laughter away brilliantly. Going up to second there, Nana's down and Thames Monarch third. They were followed by Joint Endeavour, then came Pixie Monarch. Further back in the field is Dark Promise, Spectrum Lass and last is Video Dancer. Regal laughter, two lengths in front. Nana's down after it strongly, two lengths away to Thames Monarch. On the turn, it's Regal laughter, the leader from Nana's dad. Thames Monarch switching to the outside, Regal laughter, Nana's dad. Nana's dad going home the better, Nana's dad got up to win. A half length, Regal laughter and third is Thames Monarch. Then is Dud successful in the first leg of Geelong. Here's race four. Boxwell missing the start. Three lengths. Chief Emilio going to second. Heather Zobel, the leader, settling Amber Impulse from Heather Zobel. Running third is scoring key. Three lengths further back in the field. Then came Ryan's Beauty. Over on the inside there came Chief Emilio, followed by Weighted. Olympic Shroud and last is Remo's Fury. Amber Impulse, the leader, but Heather Zobel moving up on the outside. Ryan's Beauty coming through on the centre, but Heather Zobel race to the front. Flashing home, scoring key. They reach the post though, and Heather Zobel has won from Ryan. Beauty and scoring key on the outside. And the double on races two and three at Geelong on six and three paid $8.70. Last night at Cranbourne, the first league favourite by night from box eight. Set and they're racing this time. Slow to begin. Roy's Folly near the inside. And Kiwi Coast began smartly. Sandy's Dream running second. Then Sylvia's Hardo wide on the first turn as they run to the back straight now and dashing nicely clear. As they travel down the back straight, it was Kiwi Coast about three in front of Sandy's Dream. Roy's Folly got up to be third. Four lengths away to Storm Dancer, Current Fever by night. And they were followed by Sylvia's Hardo. Golden Valley on the turn though. And Kiwi Coast two lengths in front. Roy's Folly running on. I think Roy's Folly's nearly got the leader, yes it has Roy's Folly on the line has got up to beat Kiwi Coast, Storm Dancer third 
Roy's Folly Three. taking out race Racing. number two at Cranbourne last night. Here's the fourth. Boss man out wide began very smartly. Mercy beats slow to begin. Back second and third last on the outside and racing wide. To the back straight they travel and Boss man got away about five lengths in front. A vibrant image. La Patrice Memoria misfollowed by Jackie's chief. Mercy beats second last and running proud. Last of all but it's Boss man six lengths in front off the back. Vibrant image running second. La Patrice third on the inside. Wide out Mercy beat Boss man about four or five lengths in front. Vibrant Image Mercy Beat is flashing home down the outside to get up and run second, but Boss Man won well from Mercy Beat. So I think got second on a photo just in front of Vibrant Image. Then well, that in fact was race number three, the second leg, and the double on two and six paid ten dollars and five cents. And if you're a little confused about the doubles for Greyhound Racing now, they are on races two and three. The daily doubles had all of the main meetings. Well, we'll be back uh, and sort ourselves out with Mooney Valley Harness Racing in just a moment.